Right. Right, now then, here's a letter from Tunbridge Wells in Kent. Dear Mr. Savile, please can you fix it for my daughter Jackie to become a VIP? She is flying to Adelaide, South Australia, from Heathrow on the 3rd of July, to meet her sister again, after nearly 11 years apart. Jackie will have just completed 9 O-levels at school and will stay down under to await the results. She has flown before, but only on a package tour from Gatwick. I would love to see her face if she could actually go into the VIP's lounge at Heathrow and feel happier as she is travelling alone. At 16 years, they may seem grown up, but not to Mum and Dad. Hoping to hear from you. Yours most sincerely, Jackie's mum, Betty Brinshaw. So, Jackie came to the ticket desk all unsuspecting. She didn't know anything was going to happen, but it did. You got your tickets there, I can have a look at. Jackie Brigginshaw, does this mean anything to you? No. Did you realise that your mum and dad have written to Jim will fix it? You're going to be our VIP for the day on Qantas today. You're joking. No. Really? If you come with me, we'll take you to the VIP lounge and then your personal transport to take you to the aircraft. Oh, thank you. Right. Right, now that you say goodbye to your mum and dad, we'll take you down on the buggy to the VIP lounge. It's quite a long way down there, so we don't like our VIPs to walk. Take you down on the buggy. Jackie, there's a drink for you. Oh, thank you. Sit here and relax while all the bustle's going on in the terminal, and we'll wait for your limousine to take you to the aircraft. Class galley where all the food's cooked for the flight. If you'd like to come through here, I'll show you our business class cabin. You can see the seats are look nice and comfortable. Lovely and wide, don't they? Would you like to try one? Oh, it's true. Try this one. Oh, it's lovely. How does that feel? Oh, lovely. Very comfortable. Well, come with me and I'll show you another cabin and some more of the aircraft. This cabin now, this is our luxury first class cabin where our VIPs sit. Why don't you try that seat? Try it for size. Oh, that's nice. No? No, lovely. Yes. Good. Have a look at this. Lift your legs. Oh. How does that feel? Nice? Yes. Try this. How's that? Oh, I think it's straight, straight Do you here. think you could relax there all the way to Adelaide? Oh, I could. Well, because you're a VIP, you're going to. Oh, Have a nice flight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How did you like your taste of the VIP life? Oh, it's fantastic. I'll always fly like that, I think. Oh, you're going to fly like yeah, that in the future? Sure. Yeah. Well, hard work can get you there, that's your fact. Dr. Qantas, a thousand thanks for doing what you did for us. My pleasure, Jim. Right. You'll have everybody wanting to fly first class now. I hope so. Now listen, you had the, the car to the aeroplane and you had the business in the VIP lounge and then the, that beautiful seat. Was it what you expected it to be, you know what I mean? Oh, it's much better. They looked after you so well. But you actually enjoyed the, the VIP of it all? Oh, yeah. Loved it. Yeah, because some people get a bit uncomfortable. I personally would get a bit uncomfortable with oh, that, no. you see. I much prefer a bench, a hard bench somewhere, <laughs> about 10 feet off the back of the plane. Because I've got no fear, that's all I'd get. 
All I get is a hard bench, ten feet off the back of the plane, and you got all that good, fabulous gear, and quite rightly so as well, because you deserve it. Dr. Quantus, would you like to just give her her Gimel Fix-It badge, please, my if I might ask thing. you? Hey! Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Jim, I'd like to uh, present Jackie with a little souvenir of her oh. trip down under. Oh. Is that for her? Yes. Oh, oh. thank you very much. Yeah, please, Oh, well, a nice big hand for our friends for being so thoughtful.